I am Anil Kumar and in this particular video we will understand how to solve financial applications for present value using logarithms. The question here is Peter borrows $12,000 to buy a used car. The loan payments are $1.160 per month at 6% annual interest compounded monthly. How many months will it take him to fully repay the loan? The formula is given to us. The present value is equal to monthly installments R times 1 minus 1 plus interest to the power of minus N divided by the interest itself. Now here the present value of the car is given to us. So we know present value is 12,000. Okay. We know R, the monthly payments is equal to 160 per month and the interest i is actually 6% per annum which is 0 0.06 since it is being compounded monthly we have to divide that by 12 correct so you need to divide this by 12 to to get the interest rate so let's do it 0 0.06 divided by 12 is equals to 5 to the power of 10 to the power of minus 3 5 times that means 0 0.005 it's good to use the decimal values here okay so we know all these values so in this formula minus to the power of minus n we need to find the value of n so basically we need to calculate what n is so those are the number of months which we need to pay all right so those are the number of installments to pay so let's substitute these values and figure it out so it is 12,000 for present value so it is 12,000 equals to R is 160 within bracket we get 1 minus 1 plus 0 0.005 to the power of minus n bracket close divided by 0 0.005 right so let's simplify it a bit so we can write this as 12,000 equals to let me divide uh, 160 by 0 0.005 what do I get I get 32,000 so we get 32,000 right so that's the value and within brackets we have 1 minus we'll add these two 1.005 to the power of minus n so these are simple steps which you should follow now divide here so we have 12,000 divided by 32,000 okay equals to 1 minus within brackets 1.005 to the power of minus n now you can calculate 12,000 divided by 32,000 also so in fact 12 divided by 32 is equals to 0 0.375 this is 0 0.375 so we'll rearrange our equation so we have 1.005 to the power of minus n equals to 1 minus 0 0.375 right so let's do how much it is we do 1 minus 0 0.375 equals to 0 0.625 0 0.625 right now to get the solution for n what should we do we can take log on both the sides right so if i take log on both sides i get log of 1.005 to the power of minus n equals to log of 0 0.625 now as you know the properties of logarithms we'll apply the power rule applying the power rule gives us minus n times log of 1.005 equals to log of 0 0.625 so minus n is equals to log of 0 0.625 divided by log of 1.005 so let's calculate this answer which is log of 0 0.625 divided by log of 1.005 equals to we get minus 94.235 correct so that is minus n equals to minus 94 or n is equals to 
94.235. So that means uh, after 94th month, some amount is left. So we have to pay total of 95 installments, right? Of course, in the last installment, it will not be total amount will not be $160. It will be lesser, which is always adjusted, right? And therefore, our answer is how many months will it take him to fully repay? It will take him 95 months, right? So 95 months to repay. And the last month, the amount paid will be much lesser than $160, right? So that is how such questions can be solved. So these are simple steps to do. Those who have good calculators, they can actually rearrange the formula and do all these calculations in one go, right? So you can do like that also. But I hope you help you understand the steps. Thank you and all the best.